Hi, and welcome to a lesson on the equation of a straight line. Now, um, I'm going to just first of all, get straight into it and give you the, the structure of the equation of a straight line. And where it's y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient or the steepness of the line and c is the y-axis intercept. Okay, now we use, uh, I personally use y equals mx plus c. Okay, um, and you know, that is the structure of it. Sometimes these are swapped around, but generally, sometimes they're over this side, but generally if we rearrange it, we can see the, the number that is in front of the x is the gradient and the number tagged on the end, could be plus or minus, is the y-axis intercept. Um, this isn't universal, you can see, this I found this quite interesting, is that uh, across the world they don't use M's and C's necessarily, some countries use M's, some use A, some use K for the gradient, and some countries use C, others use B, and even N. Okay, and you can see around the world generally what different nations use for their um, equations of straight lines. Very interesting. I did like that. Now, a little bit of a... Um, reminder about gradient and why it, why it works basically the rise over the run is because you know if you just got a one divided by a one for every one you go across you go one up you know there's a gradient of one going on here for every one you go across you go two up or well, there's a gradient of two there and you can see how um that's got steeper and the angle y is increased and here now uh, z is even is an even greater angle because for every one across we're going up three and the rise over one here is three over one um so that means a gradient of three and you can see that that is the, the largest angle yeah okay so if you, if you like that there you go okay and we got gradient one gradient two gradient three and it's for every one across how many do we go up basically um let's go and practice now how to find the equation of a straight line from a graph so what I've taught you is that um, we take two points on the graph, such as here and here, okay, in the corner of the squares, and we can work out the gradient. So in this case, the rise is two, the run is two. So the gradient, rise over run, is two over two, which is one. You could have just as easily taken four and four, okay, and four over four is also one. Okay, so the gradient's definitely one. So in terms of y equals mx plus c, Okay, my m, here we've worked out the gradient, is equal to 1. Okay, what about my c? Uh, where does it cross the y-axis? Remember this, this vertical axis here is the y-axis, and it's crossing at 2, so my c is equal to 2. Okay, so if I put these two things into those, um, into those spaces here for m and c, we get y equals... 1x plus 2, and usually we don't even write the 1 if it's 1x, we just write x plus 2. So the equation of this line here is y equals x plus 2. Let's go and have a look at another one. Um, so, next one. Okay, now if I spot the, spot the difference, um, it's heading in a different direction, which is a big clue as to the nature of the gradient going on here. Um, this one has a run heading this way and a rise here. Okay, so the rise is three and the run, if we're going from bottom right to top left, is uh, negative one. Okay, so here the gradient is three over negative one, which is negative three. What's the y-intercept? There's the y-axis. Where does this line cross the y-axis? It crosses at six. So let's just write this out. So m is minus three c is equal to 6, okay, and then if we're looking at um, y equals mx plus c, we go and put those values in here and here, so we get uh, the, the answer coming out as y equals negative 3x plus 6. And the final answer for the equation of that line. Now, just if want, just for, you know, just for interest, here's a, here's a point here, 3, Okay, so x equals 3 here. If we put x equals 3 in here, all right, we can go and find the 
the y coordinate. Let's put three in. Let's go and find what the y coordinate is. So minus three times three plus six. Y coordinate would be minus nine plus six, which is minus three. Is it minus three? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Okay. So points on the line are going to conform, are going to fit this equation, conform to this equation. They're going to fit this equation. If I take any point on the line and I put their X and Y coordinate in, they'll fit this equation. Okay, let's look at another one. Um, okay, so let's look at the, the finding the M first, the gradient. Um, let's find two points. There's one. And there's another. And the corners of squares. Let's make a right angle triangle and find the rise and the run. Well, that's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and one. So M gradient is rise over run, which is six. And my C, where does it cross the, the, uh, the Y axis? It's crossing the Y axis. Remember this vertical line here at five. C equals five. M is 6, C is 5, the equation is Y equals MX plus C, so we've got Y equals 6X plus 5. Okay, All right. again I could test out a value, um, okay why not, let's try X equals minus 2. Go and see what happens, Y equals 6 times minus 2 plus 5, minus 12 plus 5, which is minus 7. Yeah, okay, this is the point down here, minus C, minus 7. That's a point on the line. Yep. Okay, let's look at another one. Another negative gradient from the looks of it. Okay, let's have a look. So there's a point, and there's a point. Uh, I've got a run of 2, and a rise, 2, 4, 6. Yep, 6 and minus 2. So the M, the gradient, is rise over run. 6 over minus 2 is minus 3. M is minus 3. And where does it cross the y-axis? Crossing there, uh, which is at 3. So the equation of this line in the form y equals mx plus c is y equals minus 3x plus 3. Okay. And have I got any more? Ah, I've got one more. Okay, so last one. Um, let's go and find the rise and the run. There's some nice points. So I've got 4 and 2. M is the gradient. It's rise over run. 4 divided by 2 is 2. M is 2. And the y-intercept is all the way down here. Looks like it's minus 5. So put those into the formula. And we get y equals mx plus c. And y equals 2x minus 5. And that's it. Okay, so I hope that's, that's clear how to find the equation of a straight line from its graph.